Cincinnati Bearcats. 11 and 2 last year. 6 and 2 in the conference. Uh, Luke Fickle ahead of schedule guy. a little bit. Love this guy. Seven returning starters on offense, seven on defense. Number 51 most experienced team in the country coming back. Number eight, though, in the conference. Year three of Luke Fickle era probably will not be as successful as year two. The schedule set up perfectly last year. Correct. Uh, quarterback Desmond uh, Ritter is uh, he's back along with a plethora of school players. Everyone but the right side of the line is back, and I think that Michigan transfer James Hudson is probably going to help that. Uh, defense was number eight scoring defense in the country, number 11 total defense, and they should be really good again. Uh, they replaced both all-league uh, uh, tackles and defensive end uh, Fitz. You remember Fitz? Um, that's that's a lot to replace up front, right? Now, you can tell the difference. Like Between 2016 and 2018, there was a shift in this team in the size and the physicality. The team is way bigger. They are more talented now. Like you can, you know how when you see a team at one point and you're like, Ugh. you know, it's like, okay, like they got some dudes, I guess. And then you see them again and you're like, oh, yeah, like something happened. Like, I don't know what happened, but something happened. They made the same dudes. Luke Fickle went and got some dudes. Yeah. I, I did not like the Luke Fickle hire taking over for Jim Tressel back in Ohio State. Well, I mean, they they were kind of in a bad spot. Right? I know that, and and I know he he was trying to help out his alma mater, and I think it it hurt his resume, in my opinion. I really like him here in Cincinnati, staying in the state. He knows how to recruit that state. He is getting. I think that, some dudes. I think that that uh, that Ohio State thing and actually helped really, him. You think so? I think so. I think that one year of him like being thrown into it, and he had to lead. Like I think sometimes well, I, that brings out the best in people. I don't think he has a problem leading. And it, it's no. it's not his leadership. It's just that was a big big job for a guy that's never had. Oh yeah, a head coaching job like that. Well, they they needed somebody like him so that they could well, bring they, in Urban afterwards. They, yeah, right? they needed an Ohio State guy, which he was. Yep. Um, if you look back at that coaching staff, he he brought his boy Vrabel in. Vrabel, if, if Vrabel's look, now our Titans coach. Like, if you look at <laughs> worked uh, out pretty well for both of them. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. But if if you look at that situation. Like just just going back to the like I'm not the guy to uh, take up for Ohio State at all, mm-hmm. but what Jim Trestle got fired for is ridiculous. Today <laughs> in today's in college today's, football, yeah. Jim Trestle should be murdering people for for how he was treated yeah. at Ohio State. It was it was bad. That that was not a scandal. No, that was, no. That was not. I That's mean, yeah. the most ridiculous thing I've seen anybody get yeah. fired for ever. And that dude had like coming off. Winning the national championship a couple years ago. Yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. All right, so Cincinnati, schedule, a lot more difficult this year. Way harder. Uh, I think they get the win against UCLA to start things off. I do, too. Um, Hey, we both. And I don't really like, like I said, placing wins and losses. Yeah, but But you like that one. I like that one. I've got uh, a loss at Ohio State, and then I've got a loss at home to Miami, Ohio. Okay. So you and I had actually talked about that. Um at Marshall, I think they win. I think they beat UCF at home because I think that is going to be a friggin' Super Bowl for them. Uh, at Houston, though, the week after, I think that's a loss. Uh, Tulsa is a win. At East Carolina is a win. UConn's a win. At South Florida is a win. Temple is a win. And then I think on the short week, Thanksgiving week, they lose at Memphis. That puts them eight and four, six and two in the conference. I have them eight and four as well. That's awesome. I I but I like I said. I have a lot of teams in this nine and three and eight and four in this conference, yeah. and it's not a knock on them. It is they are just beating one another up. I have no idea which games they're going to win and which games they're going to lose in conference, but there's going to be some cannibalism from them, Memphis, UCF, Houston, and USF. I, I think those five teams are really good. Yeah. And I, I didn't agree. mean to leave anybody else out. There's other teams in here I like. There's other teams that but, are building but up. But I, are, I yeah. think those five teams are, are marketably better. I could I could see that. And they can play with big boys. Yeah. Yeah. 